General revision exercise. 1. Three important components in blood clotting are? Three important components in blood clotting are platelets, clotting factors, and fibrinogen. 2. Which veins has similar blood to that in the aorta? The pulmonary veins have similar oxygenated blood to that in the aorta. 3. Which blood vessels contains blood rich in dissolved food substances? The blood vessels that contain blood rich in dissolved food substances are the capillaries. Nutrients from digested food are absorbed into the bloodstream in the small intestine and transported via the hepatic portal vein to the liver before entering the systemic circulation through capillaries. These nutrients are then distributed throughout the body's tissues via the capillaries and exchanged between the blood and interstitial fluid. 4. The blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood are? The blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood are the arteries. Arteries transport oxygen-rich blood away from the heart and to the body's tissues, where they release oxygen and other nutrients required for cellular activities. The pulmonary veins also carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart's left atrium, but they do not have systemic function. 5. A person having blood group B can receive blood from a donor who belongs to? A person having blood group B can receive blood from a donor who belongs to blood groups B or O. Blood group O is considered a universal donor as it does not have A or B antigens on its surface, which can trigger an immune response in type A or B individuals. Therefore, individuals with blood group B can safely receive blood transfusions from type O or type B individuals. 6. Blood group AB is referred to as? Blood group AB is referred to as the universal recipient as individuals with this blood type can receive blood from any ABO blood group without triggering an immune response. Individuals with blood group AB have both A and B antigens on the surface of their red blood cells and do not have antibodies against either A or B blood types, making them ideal recipients for blood transfusion in emergency situations. However, they can only donate blood to other individuals with blood type AB. 7. Which mammalian vessel contains blood full of oxygen at low pressure? The mammalian vessel that contains blood full of oxygen at low pressure is the pulmonary artery. Unlike other arteries, the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the heart's right ventricle to the lungs for oxygenation. Once the blood is oxygenated in the lungs, it is returned to the heart's left atrium via the pulmonary veins. Therefore, the pulmonary artery carries oxygen-poor blood at low pressure, while the pulmonary veins carry oxygen-rich blood at low pressure. 8. Which mammalian blood vessel does oxygenated blood flow towards the heart? The mammalian blood vessel that oxygenated blood flows towards the heart is the pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein carries oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the heart's left atrium, where it then flows into the left ventricle and subsequently pumped out to the rest of the body via the aorta. 9. Plasma consists mainly of? Plasma consists mainly of water, electrolytes sodium, potassium, calcium, chloride, bicarbonate, etc., protein albumin, globulins, fibrinogen, etc., clotting factors, hormones, glucose, lipids, waste products, and gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide. It is the clear, yellowish fluid component of blood that suspends the formed elements such as red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Plasma plays a critical role in transporting nutrients, hormones, and waste products throughout the body, maintaining the blood's pH and electrolyte balance, and providing the protein components necessary for blood clotting. 10. Blood pressure is lowest at? Blood pressure is lowest at the point where the blood is entering the capillaries from the arterioles, called the arteriolar end of the capillaries. At this point, the resistance to blood flow is at its highest due to the narrowing of the capillaries, which causes a drop in blood pressure. This decrease in blood pressure helps to facilitate the exchange of nutrients and waste products between the blood and the surrounding tissues. As the blood flows through the capillaries, the pressure gradually increases as it reaches the venular end of the capillaries where the blood enters the venules. 11. Lymphatic system is also known as? The lymphatic system is also known as the lymphoid system. It is a network of vessels, tissues, and organs in the body that help maintain the fluid balance, produce and circulate immune cells, and absorb and transport fats and fat-soluble vitamins from the digestive system. The lymphatic system includes lymphatic capillaries, lymph nodes, lymphatic vessels, the spleen, the thymus gland, and the tonsils, among other organs and tissues. 12. The condition in which there are not enough red blood cells in the body is known as? The condition in which there are not enough red blood cells in the body is known as anemia. Anemia can be caused by various factors, including decreased production of red blood cells, increased destruction of red blood cells, and blood loss. 
The common symptoms of anemia include fatigue, weakness, shortness of breath, dizziness, headache, pale skin, and cold hands and feet. Anemia can be diagnosed by a blood test that measures the hemoglobin level and the red blood cell count in the blood. 13. A student of Rockin Hill Academy Catherine Seema took a blood smear from the fingertip and examined it under a microscope, a, which was the most abundant cell type that he observed. Describe one cell and state its function. B. A number of cells that he observed had a large lobe nuclei and their outline looked like that of the amoeba. What name did he give such cells? C. What is the function of the cells that were observed in? B. Above. A. The most abundant cell type that Catherine Seema observed in the blood smear was likely red blood cells or erythrocytes. These cells are small, round, and biconcave in shape with no nucleus and contain hemoglobin, a protein that helps transport oxygen to the body's tissues. B. The cells that are described with a large lobed nucleus and an outline like that of an amoeba are likely white blood cells or leukocytes. Specifically, these cells could be neutrophils, which are a type of granulocyte. They are characterized by their multilobed nucleus and their ability to engulf and destroy invading microorganisms through a process called phagocytosis. C. The main function of neutrophils in the blood is to combat infection by invading microorganisms through phagocytosis. They are part of the body's innate immune system and are one of the first cells to arrive at the site of an infection. They can help prevent the spread of viruses and bacteria by engulfing them, breaking them down, and releasing enzymes that help destroy them. 13. A. List the functions of leukocytes. B. List the functions of blood plasms. C. What is the difference between plasma and serum? A. Functions of leukocytes or white blood cells include 1. Fighting off infection, white blood cells help protect the body against infections by identifying and destroying invading microorganisms, such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. 2. Producing antibodies, some types of white blood cells, such as B lymphocytes, produce antibodies that can recognize and neutralize specific foreign antigens. 3. Regulating immune responses, white blood cells play a role in regulating the immune response and preventing the immune system from attacking the body's own healthy cells. B functions of blood plasma include 1. Transporting nutrients. Blood plasma carries nutrients, such as glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids, from the digestive system to the body's tissues. 2. Transporting waste products. Blood plasma carries waste products, such as carbon dioxide, urea, and lactic acid, from the body's tissues to the organs of elimination, such as the lungs and kidneys. 3. Transporting hormones, blood plasma carries hormones, such as insulin and growth hormone, to target organs and tissues to regulate body functions. C. Plasma is the liquid component of blood that contains proteins, nutrients, waste products, hormones, and other substances. Serum is the liquid component of blood that is left after the blood has clotted and the solid components, such as red blood cells and clotting factors, have been removed. Serum does not contain clotting factors, which are removed during the clotting process, so it cannot be used for coagulation tests. 14. A footballer fell down during a match and bruised his knee. Drops of blood were seen to flow out through the bruise for 20 minutes and then were seen to stop. Describe the process which brought about the cessation of blood flow at the injury. The cessation of blood flow from the bruise on the footballer's knee was likely due to the process of hemostasis. Hemostasis is the body's physiological response to bleeding, which involves a series of steps that work together to stop bleeding and prevent further blood loss. The process of hemostasis is divided into three stages, vascular spasm, platelet blood formation, and coagulation. 1. Vascular spasm. In response to injury, the smooth muscle in the walls of the damaged blood vessels contracts, causing vasoconstriction or narrowing of the blood vessels. This helps reduce blood flow to the injury site and slows down blood loss. 2. Platelet blood formation. Platelets, which are small, disc-shaped cells in the blood, start to adhere to the damaged walls of the blood vessels and to each other, forming a temporary platelet blood. The platelet blood helps seal the wound and prevent further blood loss. 3. Coagulation. Coagulation, or blood clotting, involves a complex cascade of chemical reactions that lead to the formation of a fibrin clot. Fibrin is a mesh-like protein that reinforces the platelet plug and helps stabilize the clot. The clotting cascade involves the activation of various clotting factors, which convert prothrombin to thrombin and fibrinogen to fibrin. Together, these three stages of hemostasis work to stop bleeding and prevent further blood loss from the bruised knee of the footballer. Once the clot has formed and the injury site has been sealed, the process of fibrinolysis begins, which involves the breakdown of the clot and the repair of the damaged blood vessels. 
15, uh, most arteries transport oxygenated blood. However, the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood. Explain this observation. B. All the blood from the body circulates through the heart, yet the vessels supplying the heart with blood are the coronary arteries. Explain the necessity for coronary arteries. A. Uh, the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood because it carries blood from the heart to the lungs, where the blood is oxygenated through the process of respiration. The pulmonary artery is the only artery in the body that carries deoxygenated blood. After the blood is oxygenated in the lungs, it returns to the heart through the pulmonary veins, which carry oxygenated blood. B. The coronary arteries are necessary to supply the heart muscle, myocardium, with oxygen and nutrients, as the heart muscle requires a continuous and adequate supply of oxygen to function properly. Although all the blood from the body circulates through the heart, the heart muscle itself is nourished and oxygenated by the coronary arteries, which originate from the base of the aorta and encircle the heart. The coronary arteries branch off into smaller vessels called capillaries, which deliver oxygen and nutrients to the heart muscle. If the coronary arteries become blocked or narrowed due to atherosclerosis or other factors, the heart muscle may not receive enough oxygen and nutrients, leading to chest pain, angina pectoris, or a heart attack, myocardial infarction, period. Therefore, the coronary arteries are essential for the proper functioning and survival of the heart. 16. Uh, how are the red blood cells suited to perform their function? B. In a certain person, blood took a long time to clot after a cut. What vitamin deficiency was the person likely to have been suffering from? A. Uh, red blood cells RBCs are suited to perform their function of oxygen transport due to several adaptations. The most important ones include 1. Biconcave disc shape. This shape gives RBCs a large surface area to volume ratio to facilitate efficient oxygen exchange. 2. Hemoglobin content. RBCs contain a high concentration of hemoglobin, which binds oxygen molecules for transport. 3. No nucleus. This lack of nucleus allows for more space to store hemoglobin to be used for oxygen transport. 4. Flexibility and deformability. RBCs can bend and deform to pass through narrow blood vessels. 5. Long lifespan. This ensures a consistent supply of oxygen to tissues. B. The person is likely suffering from a deficiency of vitamin K. Vitamin K is essential for blood clotting as it plays a critical role in the activation of several blood clotting factors. If there is not enough vitamin K available, blood clotting may be delayed or incomplete. This delay in clotting could lead to excessive blood loss from even minor injuries. Some people with vitamin K deficiency may also experience bleeding from the gums or nose. Vitamin K is primarily found in green leafy vegetables, such as spinach and kale, as well as in certain oils and meats. In severe cases of vitamin K deficiency, a person may require supplementation or intravenous administration to restore normal clotting function. 17. List two structural differences between arteries and veins. The two structural differences between arteries and veins are 1. The muscular layer. Arteries have a thicker muscular layer compared to veins. This layer helps arteries to expand and contract to control blood flow and blood pressure. Veins have a thinner muscular layer, which allows them to expand to accommodate blood volume but not to maintain pressure. 2. Valves. Veins have one-way valves that prevent backflow of blood. These valves are especially important in the legs, as they help ensure that blood flows toward the heart when standing or walking. Arteries do not have valves since they are created to transport blood out of the heart rather than back into it. 18. A. Uh, compare the composition of blood with that of the lymph. B. State the ways in which the flow of lymph in the lymph vessels is similar to flow of blood in veins. A. Uh, the composition of blood in lymph differs in several aspects. Blood is a fluid connective tissue that comprises blood cells suspended in plasma, whereas lymph is a clear fluid comprising mainly of white blood cells, lymphocytes, and a few red blood cells, proteins, and lipids. The main differences in composition between blood and lymph are 1. Plasma. Blood contains a significant proportion of plasma, about 55%, which consists mainly of water, electrolytes, proteins, hormones, gases, and waste products. Lymph on the other hand, contains a low concentration of plasma components, less than 5%. 2. Cells. Blood has three types of cells, namely red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets. These cells have various functions such as oxygen transport, immune defense, and clotting. Lymph, however, only contains white blood cells, mainly lymphocytes, which are responsible for immune defense. B. The flow of lymph in the lymph vessels is similar to the flow of blood in veins in several ways. 1. 
Valves, lymph vessels, like veins, contain one-way valves that prevent the backflow of fluid. This ensures that lymph flows towards the heart and doesn't pool in the peripheral tissues. 2. Low pressure, the pressure in lymph vessels is low, just like in veins. Therefore, the contraction of nearby muscles, breathing, and movement is required to assist with lymph movement. 3. Drainage, lymph vessels, like veins, drain fluid, lymph, from tissue beds and return it to the circulatory system. Similarly, veins return deoxygenated blood from tissue beds to the heart. 19. Human blood belongs to four blood groups A, B, AB and O. A. Uh, I. What blood group antigens are contained in each of these blood groups? 2. What blood group antibodies are found in blood of individuals, whose blood are A, B, AB and O in each case? 3. What is the difference between A plus positive, and A, negative, blood? B. An unknown sample of blood was found to agglutinate with blood from a donor whose blood group was O. What was the blood group of the unknown sample of blood? C. I. A group O person is known as a universal donor. Explain. 2. A group AB person is a universal recipient. Explain. A. I. The blood group antigens present in each blood group are. Group A. Antigen A. Group B. Antigen B. Group AB. Antigens A and B. Group O. No antigens. 2. The blood group antibodies found in blood of individuals are. Group A. Antibody B. Group B. Antibody A. Group AB. No antibodies. Group O. Antibodies A and B. 3. The difference between A plus positive and A, negative, blood is in the presence or absence of Rh factor, a protein antigen on red blood cells. A plus blood has Rh factor, while A blood does not. B. If an unknown sample of blood agglutinates with blood from a donor whose blood group is O, the unknown sample of blood is group O. C. I. A group O person is known as a universal donor because their red blood cells do not express antigen A or B, making their blood compatible with all blood types. People with group O blood can donate to people with any blood group without causing a transfusion reaction. 2. A group AB person is a universal recipient because their red blood cells have both A and B antigens, making their blood compatible with all blood types. People with group AB blood can receive blood from any blood group without causing a transfusion reaction. 20. A surgeon performing an operation cut two blood vessel by mistake. He noticed that from one of the blood vessels, blood spurt out, while from the other, blood flowed out steadily. Identify giving reasons, each of the blood vessels cut. The blood vessel from which blood spurted out is most likely an artery. Arteries carry oxygenated blood under high pressure away from the heart to various parts of the body. When an artery is cut, the high pressure blood spurts out in a rhythmic pattern that corresponds to the heartbeat. The blood vessel from which blood flowed out steadily is most likely a vein. Veins carry deoxygenated blood under low pressure from various parts of the body back to the heart. When a vein is cut, the low pressure blood flows out steadily. 21. State two functions of mammalian blood other than the transport of substances. Two additional functions of mammalian blood other than transport of substances are. 1. Regulation of body temperature. Blood helps regulate the body's core temperature by transporting heat from internal organs to the skin for dissipation. This mechanism helps the body maintain a constant internal temperature despite changes in the external environment. 2. Immune response. Blood contains white blood cells and antibodies that help defend the body against invading microorganisms and other foreign substances. These cells are part of the body's immune system and play a critical role in protecting the body from infections and diseases. 22. People can die when they inhale gases from burning charcoal in poorly ventilated rooms. What compound is formed in the human body that leads to such deaths? The compound that leads to deaths from inhaling gases from burning charcoal in poorly ventilated rooms is carbon monoxide CO. When charcoal burns, it produces carbon monoxide gas, which is toxic when inhaled in high concentrations. Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin in red blood cells, forming carboxyhemoglobin, which reduces the amount of oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood. This can lead to oxygen deprivation in the body's tissues and organs, including the brain, which may result in death. 23. Uh, state 2 proteins in the blood which are responsible for determining the blood group of a person. B. Give 2 reason why a transport system is necessary in higher animals. Uh, 2 proteins in the blood responsible for determining blood group are. 1. A protein called ABO antigens. This protein determines the ABO blood group system. There are 4 blood groups in this system, A, B, AB, and O, each of which has distinct antigen markers on the surface of red blood cells. 2. Rh protein, this protein determines the Rh blood group system. Individuals who have the protein are Rh plus while those who lack the protein are Rh. 
B. Transport system is necessary in higher animals for two reasons. 1. Efficient distribution of nutrients, oxygen, and hormones. Animals have complex body structures and large body sizes that require a stable and steady supply of nutrients, oxygen, and hormones to all parts of the body. A transport system, such as the circulatory system in mammals, helps distribute these substances quickly and efficiently to the cells that need them. 2. Removal of waste products. Cells in the body produce waste products such as carbon dioxide, urea, and lactic acid that need to be removed for the body to function properly. A transport system helps carry these waste products away from the cells to be eliminated by the excretory system. 24. Define the following terms anemia, leukemia, hemophilia, hemorrhage, agglutination, allergy, thrombosis. 1. Anemia, a condition characterized by a reduction in the number of red blood cells or a decrease in the amount of hemoglobin in the blood. This leads to a decrease in oxygen-carrying capacity in the blood, resulting in fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. 2. Leukemia, a type of cancer that affects the bone marrow and blood-forming cells. It results in the overproduction of abnormal white blood cells, which can cause anemia, infections, and other complications. 3. Hemophilia, an inherited bleeding disorder where the blood does not clot properly. People with hemophilia can experience excessive bleeding after an injury or surgery and may also experience spontaneous bleeding into joints and muscles. 4. Hemorrhage, bleeding from a blood vessel, either internally or externally. A hemorrhage can be mild or severe and can lead to complications such as shock or organ damage. 5. Agglutination, a process where particles such as cells or microorganisms clump together due to the presence of antibodies. This phenomenon is important in blood typing and cross-matching for transfusions. 6. Allergy, a hypersensitivity reaction to a substance that is harmless to most people. Allergies can range from mild to life-threatening and are caused by the release of histamine and other inflammatory mediators in response to an allergen. 7. Thrombosis, the formation of a blood clot inside a blood vessel that obstructs blood flow. Thrombosis can lead to serious health consequences such as heart attack, stroke, or pulmonary embolism.